welcome to Long Bay, home of Custom Cut Barbershop. We are here on the road with 1K. This is Custom Cut Barbershop. Today I'm using the wall cordless magic clip clippers. This is just a single fade, um, kind of a pro hawk fade. <clears throat> the beast that I pack out easy to do are they are very challenging. It's really easy because just um, to get the maximum look out of it, your ask the, the, the preference of the client, what they want, and with your expertise and the way how the client wants it, you try to get it exactly how they want it, and then you're done it simple. What made you start to cut here? Well, we actually start from about 7th grade. Um, somebody didn't want a haircut and the power shop was closed and then you never really have much um, in the area. So they just have one shear and start cut people here. We cut my father here first. We cut a few other here. And then people just start coming to me cut the hair all over, one by one. And that's uh, from like 2003 until um, we start cut in the, in the yard by stool and then we, we get the start of one simple little 5x5 five five shop and then over the years we upgrade until we have this um, bigger shop on top. So you said over the years, right? Which year did you start to cut here and what most you enjoyed about it? Uh, 2003 what was the first time we actually won one year. And me just enjoy the try the, uh, the, the blending. Me always fascinated how to get the blend from me always see it and like how you just like the transformation overall, the before look and then the transform after you finish. It's like another artwork, a work of art. Just like with, with, with sculpture and um, and painting. You look on where you have, where you start with, and, when, and the finished product just look amazing. How do you think your barbershop has helped this community? It helped a lot, you know, like um, really helped because some people would have to I uh, take taxi going to town, which is like a half an hour to 45 minutes away, and and, um, and some people just have don't have enough to go and come and, and to pay the, 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 the fee. 
So you just walk, you just walk up and get a decent cut where you're not worried if um if you have a get a, a, a proper haircut or it doesn't spoil because no people actually comment on the, 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 the whole shop or it neat and and, and um, you can compare it to the ones in town and think so it helps out a lot. What would you tell younger barbers or other person that want to pursue the career of barbering? Well you just follow your dream. If you know something you love, you're not going to enjoy it. Yeah. When you, you follow your own heart and do what, you, what makes you happy, you get the best out of that. If you do something where you're actually you're forced into do it, there's no love into that. You're, you're going to like, feel like a bird. What three words you would use to describe your barbershop? Unique. Comfortable, clean. Makes sense, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your barber shop is located in Long Bay. What's yeah. the address? Long Bay, Portland. Long Bay District, Long Bay, Portland. Beside the post office and library. What's that you're doing? Oh, we sanitize the seat before every customer. Let them see it. This is a negative. Um, we don't really use tissue because when tissue is wet, it sticks on, on, on people and it can get really messy. So, this is water resistant and it actually has two sticky parts here and it can stretch. So, we use this instead of tissue. Unless it runs out because we have to order it online. So, is that a challenge for you to get this sticky tip? No, another challenge. I order it before it finishes. We never wait until it's done, then we order it. Okay. And the real purpose of it is uh, to prevent the skin contact from every different client coming. They see the, the, the neck cloth and touch it, everybody. It will be very difficult to wash it every single time we take it off a smell it. And then, unless more than a dozen of them, and throw that one in the wash and then get open one next one. Really challenging. It's much more efficient. You just put a, stick, a neck tape around there, 
to separate the skin contact with each person. Now with this one I'm going to use the, the Asta Fast Feed. What's the difference between the types of shears you use? Well, the thickness of the blade has something to do with it. We know what kind of cut you want. And the carded ones, um, you can use with or just um, more or less. What do you call it now? Well, less convenient. The can trap with this. And you can walk with this the, um, right around. And the card and them not going to wrap up my foot or anything. So you're rather the wireless? Yeah, rather the wireless one. Where's the beach? The beach is across the road from me. It's right across the main road. Challenging of being a barber. Well, you have your ups and downs. Yeah, you have, you have um, sometimes people you not know, pleased with the cut, especially in the beginning phases. 
you know what I'm saying? They what them want. And sometimes there are people who don't know how to explain themselves. You ask them what kind of cut them want. They don't know. So the part where go up so and come back around. So. They don't know how to tell you what they want. So you just have to do something that will look neat to you. Where you can say, yes, this represents my style of cut. But sometimes you have people who come and tell you, like, how to do the thing. But you know, like that. People will just tell you what they want, would like to have, and then you do it. They will tell you how to do it, and they know when you do what them say, it's fine, and them say, you're a fault, because you are the bar one, you should have known better. Um, yeah, so yeah, a bit of challenges, yes, but not really that much. And then... You have um, some times now, you have some texture here where we kind of hard to manage. And then you, know, you no know, one is quiet and then people come out and say, well, I, I, I him put me here. And because they hear things, some people, they want them for it here. You have to actually create a hair line because no line did it. And you have to just like take time, mark out the line and make sure it's everything well neat. You have to create some hair line there. And the next head you too, have to cut baby hair. They can't stay one place. And then they start crying and they start look around upon the TV, upon their mother, their father. And as the shear start in ball, and you start cut one side and can't do the other side, then just did a mix here nice. So that's the next challenge too. And then the other thing now, people, both big man and little boy, afraid of alcohol. Let's spray that stock ball, push the other 90 pipe and all them things there. <laughs> from, from the same go for the buckle. No, me don't want none of that. So, this. I did alcohol buckles, but it more can't do so they can't run. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? This, this one time, <laughs> this, this young boy. <laughs> this young boy tell me, say, me and my must cut me here and cut off the bad part. I say, which part is the bad part? You know them side, you want the bad part. I said, well, you don't know me if you ask you which part bad. So we start cutting here, and then we take up the, the water bottle to the wet the hair line so we can make the outline. The boy start bawling, I'm going me, to burn me. I said, you really a bunny a water? And, oh, you know not bother burn me then. <laughs> <laughs> so you have some, you have some fun. The hilarious moments, and then you have some other. Um, what were they? Not really so hilarious. So you're saying being a barber is easy, but it's fairly challenging too, as well? Yes, it's very easy. You just have to practice and learn from your mistake then. So in the new bar right there, you know, they, this 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 comfort is or something like that. When when you start, are discouraged because you have to have you have to have time. To, yeah, you have to build by your experience. So every mistake or every every mistake, um, I go you have to know. So well, we do that one time. I never work out, and we have to improve on that. Home to improve on it. And then thing is, so you can just start something and then give up at the same time. Unless you don't really like it or love what you do, you are going to give up it's easy. Yeah. So that's actually the water now? Yeah, that's actually the water now. <laughs> So, me use the water to soften the, the, the hair so it's easier to cut. 
Yeah. Less irritation on the client's skin. And we use the powder for the dry the skin so the hair can drop off. But then some people with, with, with them weird mentality, we know them want to powder the face. But when you powder your face, it just make the hair come off of your skin. This is the barber shop I'm start from. A 5x5 five five barber shop, I know where to take a walk over the beach. I'm going to take a look at it. So this is famous Long Bay Beach, one mile of white sand. Uh, people normally come here, you have two Long Bay, one on the grill, and this is famous one in Portland. The beach calm more time, so calm that it looks like one pool. Clear like pool, so you attract a whole heap of tourists and people from all over the country. So, is it calm right now? Not as calm as the, um, it normally be, but it's kind of calm, you know, but this what I call this rough. It get rougher than this sometimes. Well, um, my mother told me when she was a little girl, the sea was like much further than this. She, she, she normally, she said there was a football field out here. And you know, we walk through like a whole heap of coconut trees and things before you actually see the sea. So the sea is really, really close to the road comparing to when she was a little girl. So that means what, have, what happened? The sea coming closer to land? Yes, but if you even go up on Google and look on the old time map of Jamaica, Jamaica is fat like, uh, like, like she's pregnant. So this is Jamaica shrink? Yes, but it's more, it more land than, than, than this. There was even um, some, uh, a guest house and restaurant and, and bar right here. But hurricane, they, they, they mashed them up and just a little piece they left right there. Oh, okay. Long Bay is a little tourist area, you know. Uh, restaurant and bar and guest house. You don't come like one little boutique or 
Look at look at watch it then. Tourist attraction all over.